So you wrote, you said early you wrote the screenplay and, and I think that's, that's a fantastic movie. I, I want that to get done. What is, what is the long goal here? Is it to continue to be an author? Is it to write screenplays and develop movies? Is this something that you're thinking about in college? What are, what are, what is, what is your, what are your plans for the next few years as you get out of high school and move on into, I guess they call it adulthood, but you seem pretty adult already, but technically 18 is adulthood. Uh, so what is the plan for the next few years of what you want to do as far as your writing and your career? I definitely want to do a little bit of everything when it comes to writing. I did really enjoy writing the screenplay. So that book, Hell Pens in Heaven, like I wrote it as a screenplay and mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun. But then honestly, I had more fun turning it into a novel, but now I have both. But mm -hmm. there's like the novel is so much better. But I do still think like even though like I write better novels than I do screenplays, like screenwriting is definitely something that I'd be interested in. I think, you know, it can be helpful to like write a screenplay version of a book and, you know, the novel version mm -hmm. and, you know, potentially like if I can become a screenwriter when I'm older and actually, you know, see my work at the big screen, like that would be amazing. So what is the difference between, there's obviously a difference, but what is the difference in writing between writing a novel and writing a screenplay? Because they are different. Um, I was watching a TV show um, and it was based on The Godfather. And Mario Puzo wrote The Godfather, the novel, but he had to ad adapt it to a screenplay and it's a different form of writing. So can you explain to the audience how that different form of writing affects uh, a novel and a screenplay? Yeah, so a screenplay is very just straightforward. It's, you know, you have to show everything. Mm -hmm. You can't just, well, I guess you kind of have to, I guess you, you more have to show it than you have to tell. It's not the same with writing novels, but it's all visual. You have mm -hmm. to show the character's emotion through their facial expressions. You can't just write, you know, this character is sad and they're thinking this. So it's all very visual and it's a lot quicker. You mm. know, screenplays are like mostly dialogue. And then right. a little bit of, you know, description when you're describing like a, but even actually not really. <laughs> okay. Like I found that, you know, most of the description, you know, that's the job of the set designer. So mm. it's like, all dialogue, where a novel is a lot more internal a lot of the time, where you can really go into the character's like thoughts as opposed to having to show them. And that was a real challenge when I was writing the screenplay for Helipads in Heaven, because mm -hmm. what I had the character do is I had the character do a voiceover and like talk mm. about things, because otherwise I had no way to show what was like what was, you know, how right. she connected to any of the places. But it still it worked. And then when I was turning that into a novel, which is, you know, now the published version, like I just, you know, had it as like regular description. So what can my audience expect from you as far as the next grouping of books that are, that are come out? You said you're working on one right now. What, what is the latest book that's released right now? And what are you working on now? You don't have to give us all the, the plot points. We're not going to do that. But just an idea of what's coming down the pipeline. So my most recent book is technically, it's a crossover between Biome Lock and the Chronicles of Zyle Delane, but that's not one of my major releases. So still technically like my most recent, like big book is Helipads in Heaven. But upcoming, I'd say you can expect a lot of books that are similar to my old stuff. I have a book coming out on April 29th and it's going to be number 17. It's called Little Green Man. I actually wrote it during the summer of eighth and ninth grade. So I wrote it when I was 14, but <laughs> okay. I just, you know, just got around to it. And that's mm -hmm. a, obviously it has aliens, but it's more of a mystery and it has a lot more like high school and it's more realistic than like my crazy action packed books. Like it's a lot more grounded, but there's aliens. Okay. There's aliens. And then right. after that, I'm going to release hopefully the final two books in the never dying series. So 2024 is a, going to be a year for a lot of older books <laughs> and hey, look. a lot of like older series but it's also like you know a lot of action a lot of fun and in there somewhere i'm hopefully going to release some more like personal realistic like memoirs and things as well okay and maybe cool. poetry uh, hey look especially when the poetry that you're writing uh, it's so deep, so personal and touching so many people. I would definitely say, I would definitely encourage you to keep doing that. Um, if you like that clip, 
go ahead and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to catch up on all of our latest content. Don't forget to hit the notification button when you do subscribe so you can get updated every time we release content. We release content every day, whether it's an actual show or clips from the show. So go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Also, don't forget our Patreon page where you can find our Talking Straight Ish and After Hours Uncensored episodes. That's patreon.com backslash unsolicited perspectives. But once again, thank you again for listening to Unsolicited Perspectives. I'm your host, Bruce Anthony, and I'm going to catch you next time. I'll holla.